Hello there, my name is Gary Sims, and this is Gary Explains. Now, the ability to run large language models uh, locally, rather than using a service up in the cloud, is becoming increasingly important for developers, enthusiasts, students, even privacy uh, advocates. And I foresee that really in, as we're heading now into 2024, it's become even more uh, important. Now, there are different ways of doing that. Here on this channel, I've talked about Llama.cpp. I've talked about LM Studio. Now there's a new way to do it where you download just one file. Just one file, regardless of what operating system you're using, regardless of what CPU you're using, you download one file, and that gives you everything that you need. So if you want to find out more, please let me explain. Okay, so this video is split roughly into two parts. First of all, a quick demo showing you what you get by downloading that one file and then a kind of a bit of a look at some of the details, what it's all about, where it's coming from and so on. Okay, let's get cracking. Okay, so the first thing you should do is go over to the Llama file GitHub repository, scroll down here a little bit, there's a quick start guide and it gives you the direct link that you need to download. Notice it is almost four gigabytes. Download that file onto your PC. Now I'll go more into the details of this a little later, but if you notice here, that file uh, was just .llama file. If you're running on Windows, you need to add .exe, .exe onto the end. As I say, I'll cover this more in detail in just a moment. Then once you've got that file, just double click on it. That will open up a terminal window and llama.cpp, which I've covered here before on this channel, will appear in the window and it will start to run. And then a window will open on your web browser. So here is the window that has opened. Now there are lots of things you can fiddle with here, lots of stuff to play with, but just to start using it, we could go in here and we could say, list five things to do in London. Full stop, send. And then you start to get a reply just like you would if you were using uh, ChatGPT or Bard or any of the other ones that are now available. Of course, the difference is you're running this here on your PC. That file you downloaded has got all of the, the large language model in it. It's got all the stuff you need to run it, run the web browser, and now you start to get up your own uh, version of it. You don't need to get to the internet. None of your information is shared anywhere. This is all coming from uh, your PC locally. And obviously the speed of your PC would affect the speed of the, the output. The best results I've had are with a, an Apple M1 um, Air, MacBook Air that I've got. If you had an M2 or an M3, the results will be even better because that also is a fast CPU, of course, but also it uses uh, the GPU, which is not using in this case here on my Windows PC, but we'll go again more details of that in a moment. Now, this uh, model that they give you here is not only just a text model, you can also upload images. So I'm gonna click on upload image and pick an image to upload. Okay, so there is an image that I've picked. Actually, it's an AI generated image, but we can say to it now, uh, describe this image. Now, it did take a few minutes to get to it here. The image features a brown and white raccoon sitting on an office desk using a laptop computer. It appears to be focused on the task at hand or possibly browsing through some content. And then it goes on to describe it. So here we have a model that can do both text and media stuff running locally on your PC. Okay, so let's just quickly go through some of the details. Llama file distribute and run LLMs, large language models, with a single file. The goal is to make open source large language models much more accessible to both developers and end users. Done by combining Llama.cpp, the project that's actually able to run the model, and Cosmopolitan libc, that's a, a runtime library, into one framework that collapses all of the complexity of LMMs down to a single file called a Llama file that runs locally on most computers with no installation. So it's a single file and runs locally on most computers. You don't download a different file for a Mac, download a different file for x86, download a different file for Raspberry Pi on ARM. You download one file and it works on all of them. It's really quite amazing actually. So how we do it on Windows, as I've just shown you, you download that file from the GitHub repository. You open up the file explorer, you go to your downloads folder, you rename the file by adding .exe on the end, double click on the file, which is what I showed you. A terminal window will pop up as will the uh, web browser. And when you're done chatting, you need to go back to the terminal and hit control C. In fact, let's just do that now. 
So there's the terminal I had this running in. I hit Control C and now it goes away. The whole thing's been shut down, frees up all the memory and so on. Now, if you're running on Mac OS or Linux, then you download the same file. You don't need to add on .exe on the end. You open up a terminal window. You will probably need to grant permissions for the file to become executable. So by doing that, you use change mode, chmod, plus x, make it executable, and then the name of the file. And then you run the file just by running it in your terminal, dot meaning the current directory slash, and then the name of the file, and that's it. The same thing will happen, in uh, the browser will start up and it will start running. Now I've tried this on a MacBook, on a Windows machine, on a Raspberry Pi, on a Jetson Orin, uh, so that's with ARM stuff and with uh, Intel stuff or AMD64 stuff, it works and all of them. Now there might be a couple of gotchas I want to listen here on a Mac OS with Apple Silicon you need to have Xcode installed for Llama to be able to bootstrap itself so if you are doing this on an M1, an M2 or an M3 machine you do have to have Xcode installed. Xcode is free available from the App Store uh, and if you're using uh, Z Shell and you have trouble running the file try running it like this. Now all this stuff is listed on the the GitHub repo uh, so you should find all these instructions, but I'm just highlighting them then for you here. And on Linux, and I did have this problem on the Jetson or Orin, okay, it won't run the file. So you run these commands here again, they're all uh, there on the uh, GitHub repo. So it works out about how to run these APE format files. Okay, and once you do that, it works. Uh, I did find that because this is a temporary setting here, the echoing to these things here, you have to do it every time you open up a new terminal. But if you do that, it works no problem. Now, it can run in general on six different OSs. So it can run on Linux, anything from 2.6, which is, you know, pretty old. Uh, Mac OS 15.6 on ARM64 or on the old Intel Macs. You can run it on Windows 8 upwards on any uh, Intel or AMD 64-bit processor. And notice here there's no ARM64 here for Windows 10 or 11, which is a shame, but there you go. It will work on FreeBSD 13 onwards, NetBSD 9.2 onwards, OpenBSD 7 onwards, all with uh, Intel 64-bit or AMD 64-bit. Uh, and uh, the GPU support uh, varies across platform, as you can see here. So it runs on AMD microprocessors. They must have SSE3. Uh, when they're saying AMD 64 here, this is them pointing out that Intel's 64-bit architecture is really what they borrowed from AMD. So this is for Intel 64-bit and for AMD 64-bit. Otherwise, the Llama file will print out an error. So basically anything that's an Intel Core or newer from 2006 should work. And anything that is um, a bulldozer or greater design from AMD from 2011 should work. If you have a newer CPU with AVX or better yet AVX2, then Llama file will utilize that. Doesn't yet use AVX512. ARM64 microprocessors must be ARM B8. Uh, a plus, which means anything from Apple Silicon to 64-bit Raspberry Pi will work. It does. I've tried it on the Raspberry Pi. Also works on the Jetson Orin. And I'm pretty sure it will work on other Jetson boards as well. So basically, Intel, AMD, or ARM processors from Apple or from NVIDIA or from Broadcom, it's going to work. And all from one file. This is the thing that you've got to remember. This is just one file you download and it just works. Okay, GPU support and Apple Silicon, everything will work as long as you've got that X code installed. On Linux, there is some stuff you need to do. It does try to compile some drivers along the way. You need to read these details if that's what you're trying to achieve. And on Windows, the same. You're going to need to open up a Visual Studio 64-bit native environment. You're also going to need the CUDA uh, SDK installed, and you need to be able to compile that. The version I was showing you, although I do have an NVIDIA GPU, was just running on the CPU. Okay, so there you have it. I would love to hear in the comments below if you download it and give it a try. Do let me know what you think. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.